All right, we're here in the finals against another Axeman Guardian deck. He has Grover the Guardian, though, which is pretty good. Um, we certainly have more bomby stuff, but he also has V2 Ghazi Guildmage, which is also a very bomb card. That is good to have, though. Um, all right, so pretty clear plan we're on here. <laughs> I mean, I, I much prefer playing against this style of deck than, like, Rakdos Aggro, which is what our opponent played last uh, round. That, the Rakdos deck he played against would have probably wrecked us, just because we needed too much setup time. But uh, he's got, like, Trestle Troll, Axebane Guardian, V2 Godzi Guildmage, Grow with Guardian, Giant Growth. So he has some combat tricks. Um, he's got a good deck. Ooh, I didn't even see the Precinct Captain. So we're going to Grizzly Salvage here, hopefully not ditching all of our removal. Alright, so I think we just want the Axe Bane here. Especially since he's not going to know about the second one. Ooh, Jailbreaker. Pretty good. Next turn we do Axe Bane plus Sewer Shambler. That way we have Launch Party up if he resolves that Grove of the Guardian. He's still quite a bit of mana away, but anything could happen. We're going to take this first one. I know it seems foolish because he gets value from me blocking, but I really want to be able to use that Axe Bane. It's pretty important to us progressing this game. Alright, I can live with that. Just this year is not bad either. Alright, so play Swamp, play Axe Bane, play Sewer Shambler. So at this point, I'll probably block the Precinct Captain, just because I can start actually like playing spells now. Okay, so I'm going to block Axe Bane here, and I'm going to block Sewer Shambler here. Although, I don't really see value in killing the seller, I guess. I guess we just take three. If you use removal now, it's not too huge of a deal. Alright. It's got some populate going on. Angel of Serenity off the top. I don't think you can ask for a better top deck than that in this situation. So I think we actually just play the Angel, take out all of his Populate targets. Sounds good to me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait a second. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I played Jailbreaker. I still have the mana to do it. That's much, much better. Right? Yeah. Now we do it. Yep. 
Yes, this is the much better play. All right, so now we take out all of his populate targets. Yes, I would like to use the ability and exile his army. That was ridiculous. Get in for two. This deck pretty much plays itself. Alright, his game plan. Is chill. Alright, so we're going to be playing Justiciar. Ooh. Actually, maybe we want the... Well, we can do both, can't we? Um, I didn't see if he had any board wiping effects, but I think I'm just not going to worry about it. So, maybe I don't want Justiciar yet. Let's just do Perilous Shadow, so let's get in for five. Alright. I think we just drop Perilous Shadow and then pass. I don't want to do the Justice Year yet. I'd rather do it for a bigger threat. Or next turn, surprise on the bird so he doesn't have a blocker. Keep the launch party up. Perilous Shadow can be a pretty big boy. What, currently 6, 10, 8, 12, 10, 14? It can be a 10, 14. That is pretty big. But we're going to save the launch party for the Grove of the Guardian. I feel pretty confident in saying that. Another jailbreaker. It's pretty silly. So we've got access to nine mana at the moment. Yeah, that's pretty ridiculous. So Avenging Arrow is really what could stop this angel at the moment. No blocks. Interesting. Uh, we're just going to pump it twice for now. Still want to leave up that fodder launch. He's got the Avenging Arrow mana up. I'm assuming he's going to play that. Nope. Okay. So maybe he's just banking on the Grove of the Guardian? Yeah. So now I can just launch party when he tries to do that clever thing.
All right, so we're going to be attacking with Angel, Perilous Shadow. We're going to be launch partying his Grove of the Guardian. Oh, we can attack with our Jailbreakers, too. That is sick. So we get in with everything. He's clearly going to use Grove. I possibly could have won this turn with the Justiciar, too. But let's just see exactly what his plan is. It's going to end with us launch partying. I'm pretty sure we could have won if I would just played just this year, but I guess in response he could have tapped them and then got his guy. So maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe the just this year will be better um, next turn or something. He's got so much pressure on him right now, it's like just absolutely insane. Okay, so he's going for it pretty clearly. He'll get his guy. We launch party that. No chance of populating. Sack this dude. That should probably prompt a concession. Yeah, I don't know how he would recover from that. That was insane okay so he's a slower deck I think I guess he did have the precinct captain there which is relatively fast but uh, do I do survey oh my god please tell me I do survey the wreckage wait what's the other one would I rather no this one's not that good I'd rather do the I think I'm gonna do survey the wreckage isn't that funny is that not hilarious? Maybe I want inspiration too or something since he's not... I guess he's fast enough though. What do I want to take out for the Survey the Wreckage? I still feel like Decoy is pretty useful because he has a ton of blockers. Grizzly Salvage got me an Axe Bay in that game which is, was pretty important for early ramp. I like so many of our cards. Sewer Shambler, I guess not that him. Wait, he does have swamps though, doesn't he? I feel like a yeah, because he runs Trestle Troll. So this has the potential to be unblockable this game, but mm, I don't know how important the card is in general. So maybe I'll just take it out. Um. Anything else? Keening Apparition? Did we see any enchantments? I'm not sure. It's so funny that I'm playing Survey the Wreckage just to take care of Grover the Guardian. Could dis disrupt his splash too or something. Um, yeah, maybe this is good. Did he have any flyers? Yeah, he does, but they're just bird tokens from what I saw. I'm not super concerned about those. We've got such a better late game plan than him. He does have Vitugazi Guild Mage, though. Hmm. He's got a he's got a solid deck too. He's got late game plans. Our deck's better just because we have so many bombs. But he could destroy us with a Vitugazi Guild Mage if we don't see enough action or a Grove of the Guardian. I I guess I'll play it like this. We'll try this out. Oh yeah, this is a keeper if I've ever seen one. Yes, sir. Axbane Guardian. Good card. Trans Guild. Makes me feel good. I like no turn two plays. Jailbreaker was an excellent draw. This deck is so insane. Still planning on the turn four of Raska. I feel like that's probably the best.
Ooh, he's got his axe bane. I'll see your axe bane, and I'll raise you an axe bane. Ideally, I destroy his axe bane with my Raska, but that's going to depend on what he plays next turn. At worst, I'm going to land a Raska and pump it up and start getting an insane little dude. Not to mention the fact that we're building towards Angel of Serenity rapidly here, which just pisses all over tokens. God, this is this actually trumps my last draft deck. This is the most hands down the most insane draft deck I've ever had. Yeah, guess what's getting killed? Take a wild guess. Ooh, devastating, devastating. Smart guy there, smart fella. Well, just holding off the inevitable at the moment, so I can live with that. Oh, we're taking that. I'm playing around your giant growth, no problem. Security blockade. Alright, so we can start populating. I don't think so, sir. Survey the wreckage. Hilarious. Could drop Vraska now, but no, I... Th well, if I drop Vraska, I kill V2 Gatsi, and then I can block, but he's got giant growth. It's not bad. If he's going to dedicate his mana to populating, though, I'd rather just do Axe Bane this turn. Yeah. This is going to be so much more impact. We do Axe Bane plus... Yeah, that's silly. Axe Bane plus Jailbreaker. Could have done Corsair's Accord, too, but we're just going to get infinite mana right now. Oops. Let's get some black mana. So now we have access to 3, 6, 8, 10, 11 mana? Not bad. We get one more and we can do <laughs> Angel of Serenity plus Vraska in one turn. On turn, like, what? Six? On my turn six, I'm going to play Angel of Serenity plus Vraska if I draw a land. Otherwise, I'm just going to do Corsus Accord plus Vraska. Jesus, this deck is so sick. I'm assuming he's got Aerial Predation, but whatever. I'm not even going to block if he attacks. Not with this hand and the potential that we're going to do next turn. The silliness that we're going to do next turn. I'll take four gladly, sir. Just don't interact with my board. Play something. <laughs> What's it going to be? Void Wielder? No problem. I think I've still got Angel of Serenity mana. Yeah, I do. So, he's gotten rid of all of his bounce effects. Yeah, this is going to work better for us here, I'm pretty sure. So I've got access to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 mana. Yeah, we just drop Angel here, make him have an out. If he doesn't have an out, he's toast. I 
I don't have the mana to do Axebane plus that, do I? One, two, three. And then it's three, four, five, six. No, I'm one short of being able to do Axebane plus Angel. But yeah, we're going to drop Angel here. Taking out Axebane, V2 Gatsi, and Knight. So stopping ramp, leaving him with just Void Wielder. Yes, I would like to use the ability. My dream is to be able to play Survey the Wreckage on his Grove of the Guardian. I should actually just take out his Trans Guild Promenade at this point. I've, or, or his Security Blockade Land. Either one is just dumb good. Yeah, I'm going to take out Trans Guild Promenade. You can be off your land for the rest of the game. See how you like that? Because now I have mana to do Vraska. This is... God, this deck is so insane. I can't stop saying it. I, I can't believe how good this deck is. So, uh, can I do Axe Bane? Alright, so let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 mana. We can do Axe Bane plus Vraska. I think I'd rather play Axe Bane plus Survey the Wreckage. Seems strange, I know, but if you keep him off of that, keep him off of that Transgill Promenade mana now, we're going to be looking real good. So dumb. How good that is. <laughs> so ridiculous. Okay. God, just the best pool I've ever had. Alright, so 3, 6, 8, 11, 12 mana. First things first. I gotta tell him. I always lag out. Um, yeah, best pool I've ever had. Sums up uh, this draft perfectly. This deck was ridiculous. So I'm very glad that I recorded this. You got to see it. You bore witness to the nuttiest draft I've ever had. So. Hope that was as fun for you as it was for me, because I can tell you, that was a blast. That was so much fun. And it almost ended uh, prematurely to that pack rat deck, so really lucky we got past the pack rat deck. That deck is probably the one deck that, that would really succeed against this. Actually, we're lucky we didn't play against the Rakdos deck either. The Rakdos deck had a nutty, you know, he had the stereotypical nutty uh, Rakdos deck. Anyway, um... I wanted to briefly talk about a podcast we just recorded with Josh Frankel from DraftMagic.com. It was a lot of fun. Um, I just happened to ask him if he wanted to join us on the Mortar Pod, and he said he would. So go check that out at SeemsGoodMagic.com or MTGCast.com. Check out that podcast. We talk about uh, you know Return to Ravnica Limited, um, the new standard environment, what it's like. Um, so it was very interesting. It was cool. I think uh, if you're like me and you're like, you like to watch uh, Josh Frankel uh, draft on Twitch TV or Draft Magic or whatever, um, I think you'll find that it was a, it's a cool interview. It's fun. So, uh, yeah, 
I'll see you guys next time. I hope, hope you had a good time there.